morning and welcome to our Tuesday morning chapel and uh, with some must be May. Yes, anyway, I hope you're doing well. Now, I don't know if you can relate to this experience. You've got a stack of work to do. You've got loads of stuff to do, revision, whatever it is. Anyway, you sit down to do it and you're kind of motivated and you're ready to, to get going with your pen and start marking in my case. And suddenly you get this overwhelming desire to just want to watch YouTube. Uh, you know, you want to think, oh, I wonder if there's another funny cat video that I can watch. Uh, <laughs> let's look for another cute little fluffy cat video. Or, you know, check social media or whatever it is. In other words, you get an overwhelming desire to do anything but the work that you have to do. And, the, you know, the more closer it gets to the deadline, the more you kind of put off the work. Now, I don't know if you can relate to that experience, but if you can, you're probably struggling with what they call procrastination. It's that where we just, we just want to do anything but, anything but the work that we must do. And the problem with procrastination is you tend to live life with a con constant low level of anxiety. Now, we're going to go to the book of Proverbs for some wisdom uh, from an unlikely source so that we can learn how to deal with procrastination because it's not healthy, as we'll see. This is what Proverbs says. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler. Yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. Now, here's the thing. When you look at the ant, it just gets on with the job. There's no teacher, house parent sort of standing over the ant saying, do this, do that. They're just getting on with the job. And as a result, they're prepared for when potential disaster comes. They're prepared for winter. Now, the problem with procrastination is when we procrastinate, we're not thinking about the consequences. And what Proverbs is saying is this one little decision, this one moment in time to delay our work could end in disaster. It says, it uses quite a strong word, ends in poverty. But it could end in disaster for us. You know, we might not get the grade we want. We might end up not going to the university we want. See, procrastination is dangerous. Now, how do we deal with it? Now, there's no quick fix. It's not easy. But I want to suggest three things. The first is when you feel tempted to procrastinate, realize this, this little decision that you're about to make could have terrible consequences. As I said, it could affect your grade. It could even affect the job that you want. If you keep procrastinating, it doesn't make you particularly employable. So when you're tempted to procrastinate, think, hang on, where is this going to lead? It might stop me being where I want to be in five or ten years' time. The second thing is realise that you're not alone. Find good friends and encourage each other to work. I used to, at university, work with other friends in the library and we'd keep each other focused. You know, when we felt like, or when one of us felt like, oh, I just want to have a break, we like, no, come on, let's focus. Friends are good. You know, we are a community. We can work together. So I recommend find good friends to help you focus and, and work with them and revise with them. That, that is always good. I used to do that. And the third one is you do need superhuman strength and that can only come from God. And I would say, pray about it. Ask God to help you because he can give us that strength that we need uh, to uh, avoid procrastination. And it isn't easy, but we do need divine help. Anyway, let's do that now. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that we can talk to you, we can pray to you, and that you and your mercy by your Spirit will give us strength. Lord, when we feel tempted to procrastinate, help us find friends to keep us on the right track and help us too, Lord, to have the strength to focus so that we can get the work done, particularly as we're coming into a sort of constant assessment. Give us energy to continue. Amen. Well, let me finish now with our blessing. So may God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you.